Hi, welcome to Criswell College. My name is Brandon Seitzler. I'm an associate professor of political science and economics here at the college, uh, and I am speaking to you here today uh, in the capacity of program director of our uh, PPE degree. That's philosophy, politics, and economics. I had that up here at the college, so it's uh, it's my honor and pleasure and privilege to, to get to talk to you in this virtual preview day. Uh, my goal is to, to tell you what PPE is, uh, what the degree is, what sorts of classes we have in the degree, um, and uh, what you might do with the degree after you graduate. Who is it for? Uh, who might want to study this? I'm going to do some of that by way of uh, a little bit of a history lesson in, in PPE. So uh, PPE, Philosophy, Politics, and Economics, started at Oxford University in England uh, back in the 1920s after World War I. And the reason for that uh, particular place and that particular time is that uh, Europe had just gone through a, a massive upheaval, even more than the United States had during World War I. Uh, and Oxford found themselves in a position of looking at past curricula, so looking at, at past de degree programs that students had taken at the college and, and you know, keeping those on the books, keeping those around for some students, uh, but really rethinking uh, whether or not there needed to be a new course of study for a new type of student that might graduate from Oxford. So um, the, the, the classic degree program across Europe, you know, would, it would involve students going off to university and studying the greats, um, studying, uh, you know, ancient literature and, uh, and studying the sciences, studying the arts. Uh, and it was again in the 1920s after World War I that Oxford says that the world is a, a vastly different place than it's been for the last few centuries, and we might need to rethink the way that we've structured this program. And so they restructured an entire degree program that they called, uh, first referred to as modern greats, and they, they structured it around these three disciplines, philosophy, politics, and economics. And again, these weren't uh, just three random disciplines. They, they chose these because the idea, and I, this is still true, it's, it's true today as it was then, that you can't study any of these disciplines, philosophy, politics, or economics, without talking about the other two disciplines. Another way of putting it is that, that you really can't study any of these three disciplines well without studying any of the two disciplines. So other, other two disciplines. So let me give you an idea of what I mean. Uh, take philosophy, uh, a critical, central question in philosophical study throughout the millennia is, is the question of justice. What is just? Uh, what is a just society? What is a just way to behave? What is a, a just way to treat our neighbor, right? We know this is a, a central question in Christianity, right? To, to seek out justice and think about what that looks like. Well, you can imagine that it's difficult to really conceive of a just society if you don't understand the, the, the core tenets on which that society is based. That is how the society's economic system runs. Right, or even regardless of whether the economic system runs, how the economics, sorry, what the economic system is, uh, you may need to think about uh, what sorts of policies are even going to have a different impact on different groups within a society. Um, likewise, political science, right? So there are politicians who are making these policies that are having different impacts on different groups in society. Uh, often, people in society that the Bible tells us that, that we should love, right? That we should be caring for the poor, for the widow, for the orphan. Uh, in philosophy, politics, and economics, we really break down social structures, break down social orders, and look at them and think, what sorts of public policies really are going to have a, po a positive impact across different segments of, of the society, right? So these are philosophical questions uh, regarding justice, but we're looking at them through this lens of understanding what sort of economy would actually be the most just. At the end of the day, right, there, there are tons of policies we may look at that may seem just on the surface, but once we dive a little bit deeper in, we see that they may end up hurting the very people they're designed to help. Uh, one example. Um, you look at uh, you look at political science, right? Political science is really the study of how people make choices for an entire society, but make choices in groups, right? So all of us watching this, and myself included, probably have tons of opinions about the way a society should be run, the way a, a state or a country, a city should be run. And everything would be well and good if we were the dictator. And of course, we could determine and just, you know, hand out laws and rules and regulations and tell everybody to behave the way we think they should behave. 
The problem is that in a democratic society, uh, people have to come together and, and come to some sort of compromise. Uh, some compromises may be better than other compromises. In other words, it might be easier to stomach some compromises than others. Political science jumps into that, uh, jumps into the way that people make choices. What are the choices that people make? Um, and then likewise, economics. Uh, economics, you know, getting back to the public policy stuff and the justice stuff that I was talking about with philosophy, uh, economics definitely talks about that, but again, gets at this very granular level, granular level uh, discussing how people make the choices that they make, what choices we should expect people to make. We study that at a very micro level and then, you know, blow that up constantly uh, at the macro level to then look at a nation state's economy and understand the health of that economy. Uh, and again, what sorts of policies we would expect to help people flourish more. So that's a, a very surface level introduction to philosophy, politics, and economics. Uh, we have students, um, we have a student at Harvard in law school uh, who graduated last year. Um, a couple of years ago, uh, we had a, a, a lady graduate who is now in Fort Worth, I believe, uh, working for a, a marketing agency. Uh, so we, you know, and then we have students who, who have graduated who are now going into the pastorate. So we have um, all sorts of students in the program, students who want to, you know, be pastors, but also uh, work in nonprofits, a uh, student who's, uh, who's in the program this semester, who's about to graduate, who is interning with a nonprofit, uh, hoping to get a, a job in kind of the social services space, going on to grad school for that. So you can work in any of these nonprofits, uh, business, like I said, go to law school. And then of course, uh, the program is designed to set you up incredibly well for graduate school in philosophy, politics, or economics, so that you can be competitive in any of those fields. That's a little bit about the program. Um, I'm sure the preview day folks are gonna get you all our contact information, but so that you have it, uh, feel free to, to get in touch with me anytime. My email address is Brandon, uh, sorry, that's not my email address. My email address is bseitzler at criswell.edu. That's B-S-E-I-T-Z-L-E-R at criswell.edu. Again, bseitzler at criswell.edu. Uh, feel free to reach out anytime. Uh, thank you again for joining us for this virtual preview day. Uh, God bless and uh, we look forward to seeing you soon.